Let's have a go at tying a round 3 lead 4 byte Turks head. To tie this one I just want to start with a picket line hitch and I'll do that by coming around the pipe twice and forming an X here. And then on the second time I just want to come in underneath this top right hand strand of that X just like that. And that is the picket line hitch. And once I've tied that, I just want to rotate my work around. You should have two parallel lines. And then I just want to cross the right over the left. Now if I grab the other end of my paracord, I just want to come in underneath that right hand strand pull it all the way through and then follow going over and the next one along is under pull that all the way through you should find out you've come back to where you started from and we just want to take make sure that these lines are parallel and we just want to keep following it around exactly. So it goes over this strand here, then under again. And it goes over here, and then under this next one. You just keep following the over under pattern. So over, and then it comes under two strands on this side. Over again, under two. Over under two again then we go over two here and then again under two just keep following over under over under and follow that strand right around for a second circuit and make sure that they stay parallel and don't cross over two and then here we are last two and we're then back where we started so just tuck it under this last turn here if I can get it under and there you have the Turks head with two circuits and I think it looks better with three so I'll do another one and we'll come back. So once you've gone around three times the knot will still be quite loose so we've got to take the slack out and we have to start at one side of the knot and work all the way around for three circuits or however many circuits you've done and just keep following the knot around and pulling slack out so I've already done a, a little bit here and you just have to keep following that along and pulling slack out as you go all the way around the knot three times in this case so once we've gone around and pulled all the slack out of this knot we just need to trim these free ends here now and we just trim them flush so that one will get cut there and that one will get cut there and then we just need to seal the ends off with some heat and then that will be your finished knot.